<laughs> oh, Nintendo, Nintendo, you bastards. <laughs> Damn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Never in my wildest dreams that I ever think a Nintendo conference or a Nintendo Direct would make me cry of all of all of all things Nintendo a Nintendo Direct made me cry that's crazy <laughs> oh my goodness the times that we live in for those that don't know Nintendo came out with their Nintendo Direct which is kind of like next to uh, E3 fake E3 so this was kind of like the wrap up to uh not e3 and i gotta say nintendo came hard as a motherfucker they came extremely hard and considering the fact that they kind of sneakily announced that their that the switch predecessor the next switch console is coming it's kind of interesting to see you know it's kind of interesting to see that they came this hard. They did not have to. I would honestly say out of all the uh, showcases that has come out of this not E3, fake E3, I would definitely say Nintendo came the hardest. And as we get into this video, you're going to see why. Um, without further ado, let's just get into it. But before we begin, we're going to do the typical rules. I'm going to list off and talk about every single game that was presented, give my thoughts on it, give a release date, and also timestamps will be in the description box below. Without further ado, let's just get into it. So, the first game that they announced was Mario and Luigi Brothership. <laughs> and I laugh at that name because I'm like, y'all could have said, y'all could have said Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist, that shit. Just call it Brotherhood. Don't be pussy. You ain't gonna get copyright strikes. You Nintendo. You copy strike everybody. So fuck it. But yeah, it was it was that it was this game that really looked impressive to me. I love the art style. It kind of reminded me of like Dragon Ball, uh, like the shell shaded um, look of Dragon Ball, but just given to Mario and Luigi, and that's dope. Uh, I heard from my friends that this is the uh, first time in almost almost ten years we've had a new installment in the Mario and Luigi game. So that's dope as fuck. Um, I'm glad that Nintendo's kind of like digging up their old games, like like people really like or like games that haven't had a sequel in a long time and is really just um re-releasing or making sequels to them so that is fucking dope i'm there day one probably won't beat the fucking game but i'm definitely going to be playing it uh it will be available november the 7th um almost almost my birthday what the fuck i mean actually after my birthday that's crazy anywho but yeah like that comes out november the 7th Speaking of more Nintendo stuff, uh, Nintendo World um, Championship NES Edition. Uh, these are basically like speed run competitive versions of classic NES games. And I was actually kind of impressed because they actually said that there's going to be like a ghost mode in the game where it's you could take your friends or people's like versions of their runs and a ghost version will be on the screen and you could copy and imitate their shit to get the highest um score uh to see who could beat their their the run of the game fastest which i actually think is kind of fucking dope like it kind of reminds me of what tekken 7 does with their ghost mode that's really cool for people who's into the, like the uh, speed run community i love watching speed runs and i and i gotta say out of all three games consoles out of the big three i think nintendo does speed running the best or supports speed running the most i can't say the same thing about playstation to be honest unless it's like spider-man or like other games but because they focus on story driven narrative games mm, nintendo doesn't really do that 
on too much so it's like they get away with stuff like this so that's dope this is definitely a cool collection i won't be getting it but it is what it is um it comes out uh june oh july 18th it comes out july 18th uh and it will also come with a deluxe edition and it comes with a golden cartridge and i'm like the fuck are you gonna do with that but anyway that's dope that's dope moving on fairy tale 2 fairy tale 2 i honestly why <laughs> this people who actually give a fuck about fairy tale to be honest like i've read like a I've read a lot of fairy tales and I'm just not impressed by fairy tales storytelling. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, I know probably people, other people like fairy tale. So it is what it is. My brother actually owns the first game, actually, now that I think about it. So I totally forgot that there was a fairy tale first game until I looked, I literally looked at my PSN store and I was like, oh shit, they actually did have a game. So it's coming out have fun with that whatever uh it, co it coming out in the winter so be prepared for that uh it is also coming to ps5 ps4 and steam so there's that um moving on fantasia uh neo dimensions this is the creator of final fantasy and all I gotta say is that if you guys want Square to recognize and really go back to traditional RPG, uh, definitely go support this. You know, go support this. You know, send Square a message that, hey, we want a Final Fantasy game to be like this. Uh, and it really did look good. Again, I don't know if I'll have time to play um rpgs but this one actually looked really dope and i'm actually curious on seeing like how the creator of final fantasy how he would do a modern like a modern rpg in modern times in this day and age so i'm interested to see this game uh it's coming out holiday 2024 um and it's going to come to the PS5, PS4, Xbox Series systems, and Steam. So keep your eye out on that. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports is getting 2K edition. <laughs> it's getting a 2K edition and a free update that allows you to uh, play ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you can finally slam dunk your your friend you can put their balls in your face and shit i don't know like i don't know why i did the, the 2k comparison but yeah there's gonna be a free update for for ball uh, i mean that's dope and all but i don't personally care uh if i want to play go to play basketball i'll go play 2k uh despite all the crazy shit that 2k got and the update comes out later in the summer. So that's very vague. I mean, the summer is literally we're in the summer. So I'm assuming either next month or at the time I was recording in uh, July or August. So there's that. Uh, moving on, Memory in Orbit. Uh, this was like this little indie game with this cool little water paint, watercolor paint uh, art style. Uh, very sci-fi. It reminded me of Ori and Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen's world from Into the Spider-Verse. Like, across the Spider-Verse. Like, her world. Yeah, like, it reminded me of that. And so I'm looking forward to this. But it's not coming out until 2025. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on that. Only because the art style looks good. It is also coming out for ps5 ps4 series systems and also steam so looking forward to that um we have disney 
uh, Disney Illusion Island is getting updates. Uh, the update is free and available now. So you probably already checked it out. Uh, don't really care, but for those who who are excited for that, happy for that, happy for you. Uh, Hello Kitty Island Avengers. Uh, yeah, it's Hello Kitty. It's gonna most interesting thing about this is that it's going to be time exclusive. Um, it was originally on only on mobile, but now it's getting a console release. But it's Switch time exclusive as of right now. So yeah, it's kind of like cutesy oopsie Animal Crossing. Um, they're making a lot of Animal Crossing style games, which I find very interesting. I guess sometimes you need a, a game that's mad relaxing and cool. So I'm not even mad at this. I just found it very cool that they're, it's gonna be time exclusive. So, you know, for people that say that Nintendo doesn't do time exclusives, well, here you go. <laughs> oh, and to, before we move on, before we move on, uh, Hello Kitty comes out next year, uh, 2025. So there's that. But back to Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports. I would play this shit. All right. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I like Looney Tunes. I would play this shit. This shit look like um, the Mario like sports games. But just with Looney Tune characters. I'll fuck with that. I don't give a fuck. I'll probably get this. It's coming out fall 2024. Moving on. Among Us is getting an update. Uh, where it will have new crew members and imposter roles. Uh, and the update is available now. So you probably already checked it out or know about it. You can go check it out right now pretty cool uh i love that this game is still going strong uh even though it is a simple game i i kind of like that it's still going strong and, and hard so that's dope then we have farmata and i'm like fairy tale <laughs> i was like wait didn't we just watch fairy tale didn't they just announce a fairy tale game but no this is the art designer uh or art or the artist of fairy tale uh is doing a, a, a animal crossing game but you can build an army and shit i was like okay interesting uh it's interesting don't know if i would play it but it's definitely interesting i, I gotta give it that props uh and it literally comes out a day for my birthday which is funny it comes out november the 1st 2024 that's crazy um and it's also coming to ps5 and pc now this shit right here this shit blew my fucking mind i was hype as fuck when i saw this shit all right donkey kong country return hd now i know this is just a hd port or a remastered port of Donkey Kong Country returns on the Wii. But motherfucker, I didn't beat that shit. So now I have all the time in the world to play this shit. I'm fucking hype. I am hype about this. And also, I think it's a good way to engage in Nintendo, the show Nintendo, like, hey, we really want a new Donkey Kong Country game. Um and yeah, it is annoying that we don't have a new one, but as someone like me who's never uh, beat, uh, beat it, I'm looking forward to going back to the game. In addition, this will also come with the 3DS levels, exclusive levels will be in this port. So this will be the definitive edition of the game. So there's that, and it's coming out June, January 16th, 2025. Moving on. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Now, this one had me a little confused because at first I was like, why are they only announcing like Dragon Quest 3? Where's Dragon Quest 2 and 1? 
And then they were like, oh, by the way, yeah, we're also working on the original Dragon Quest game. So Dragon Quest 1 and 2. But for right now, we're doing Dragon Quest 3. And that's because that game is it's uh that game is the technically the first game in the series that you play in terms of timeline order so i was like oh that's fucking dope i'm like that's cool honestly i would have preferred a uh final fantasy 7 remakes type of style where it's like hd characters or like hd like 4k like high fidelity and whatnot but at the same time, I've never played the Dragon Quest games, so I think this is a perfect time to drop in. Don't know if I'll have time for it, but that was really cool. It comes out no, the November the 14th, 2024. And it will also be coming to PS5, like PS4, Xbox Series consoles, PC, and then next year, you can expect Dragon Quest 1 and 2. So that's dope. Looking forward to this. Um, and, it, and the game looks great, by the way. The game looks absolutely stunning. It looks really good for a 2D uh, sprite type of game. Uh, Funko Fusion. Throw this shit in the fucking garbage. This shit look awful. When I saw it, I was like, this looks trash. I'd rather play a Lego game, all right. And later on, there is a Lego game for me. So I don't, I don't know why anybody would want to play this. This shit was awful, awful. Ugh, ugh. Throw it in the trash. Anywho, it comes out September the the thirteenth, and will be available also on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series console, and PC. Have fun with that. Luigi Mansion 2 HD. So this is just a HD upgrade remaster of Luigi Mansion 2. Um, it sounds like, and it feels like every direct I see, we always get a new fucking. Why is it that every time we get a new direct, we get a new Luigi's Mansion? It feels like it, at least for me. I feel like we get a new Luigi Mansion every every direct. But nevertheless, that is definitely cool. I'm definitely going to be checking that out. I'm definitely going to be getting that shit. I'm definitely on board. I'm fucking 100% on board. I have Luigi Mansion 3. I haven't played it, but I want to get a collection. So complete the collection. Complete the journey. So also, this comes out literally uh, this week, actually. At the time of this recording, it comes out uh, June 27th. So go pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. The new Dampa Man. I mean, I say, what the fuck is this? There's like a weird version of Animal Crossing when I was looking up too, with mini games and whatnot. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, this is weird. But, but it's free so am i gonna complain about something being free like no i'm not um it comes out time exclusive for the switch july the 27th so have fun with that it is what it is um then we got metal slug attack reloaded this is like a uh card base um metal slug game looks interesting i was kind of like oh, interesting um don't know if i'm really interested in it but it was it was definitely cool um definitely cool so go check it out it comes out literally now it's out as of as we speak um, but it's also available on ps5 ps4 xbox series consoles and pc so have fun um, moving on 
Beyond Darkness. Darkness Dungeon 2. Um, I could have swore this game was already out, but it's like a roguelite like RPG game. I could have swore this game was out or probably it was already out for other consoles and the Switch is now getting the, the Switch port. But yeah, it is what it is. It looks really cool. Like the art style, but I don't know. Don't know if I really have time for it, but it looks cool. Um, it comes out uh, July 15th, 2024. Now, we get a big update into uh, what's coming to the Nintendo Switch Online. Um, so, they announced a few new games, and I was kind of hyped for these games. So, they announced Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Four Swords. Uh, this one had me fucking hyped. Metroid Zero M. I mean, I said Metroid Zero M. Oh my god, my apologies. Metroid Zero Mission. <laughs> <laughs> Metroid Zero Mission. I'm fucking hyped for that. That that game is really good. <laughs> I played it. I played it, some of it. And I was like, this shit is really fucking dope. This is this is really good. Um, so check it out. I think we now have practically for the most part all the the original or like mainline. Metroid games, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong on that. But for the most part, we have the big ones on Nintendo's Switch. So check it out. Then we got Torok, Dinosaur Hunter, uh, cool, whatever. But the biggest one for me, and this was like, oh fuck, fuck yes, 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 yes. Perfect Dark with multiplayer now i don't know if that multiplayer is gonna be good or i mean run good because it's nintendo their online sucks but seeing perfect dark here was fucking awesome not only does this preserve the legacy of perfect dark but it's a great way to get you prepared for the new perfect dark reboot game that xbox is doing so i'm looking forward to this i'm looking forward to trying it uh i believe the xbox version or the hd xbox version is still up on xbox so if you want to get that version you can but this is another good alternative again i'm all for game preservation so this to me is really fucking dope all of this is out right now so you can go all try it out today Moving on. Phantom Brave. The Lost Hero. I could give two flying fucks about this game. This game did not appeal to me at all. And I did not care at all. But for those who are excited, congratulations. This comes out next year, 2025. Um, <laughs> and comes out on PS... 5, PS4, uh, Xbox Series consoles, and PC. Now, let me go into a moment right now. <laughs> How do I even talk about this shit? <laughs> listen. Listen to me and listen to me so fucking well, people. You know, E3, despite all the bullshit, I always say E3 was an amazing time because it really was, or in, in, a, in a lot of ways, was Christmas for gaming. It is the place where you go to genuinely hope and pray that whatever is under the present, under the tree, your wish will be fulfilled. And I felt like 
throughout this whole conference, I was like, this conference is pretty damn good. It's really showing that Nintendo is, is strong. And just because their, their console is, is, is going out doesn't mean they're out of the business. But motherfuckers, motherfuckers, when I saw this fucking shit, when I saw this shit, <laughs> yo, Marvel vs. Capcom fighting <laughs> collection. Oh my fucking goodness. <laughs> this was an E3 moment. This right here, motherfuckers. This shit right here, motherfuckers. This shit right here. Nothing. This shit right here, nigga. This shit right here, nigga. Right here. This shit, nigga. This shit here, nigga. <laughs> This is what I think about when I think about all the great E3 big moments. This is one of them. This was this was a moment, bro. Like generally tears was running out of my eyes. I words cannot express how I feel about this fucking collection, which I'm not even going to go into full detail in this video cuz then it will be taking way too long. But what I want to say is that this was a banging ass announcement. All right. A unexpected announcement. Um, <laughs> up to this day. And a few days have passed. I'm still shaking from that announcement. <laughs> I'm smiling so hard. You can't even tell. <laughs> I'm so happy. Y'all don't even understand. This was a moment. And I can't believe Nintendo did it. Legit tears coming out of my eyes when I saw this shit. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, we're going to talk more about it on a separate video. I'll leave a link in the description box below talking about it. But yeah, like this was peak. This was peak E3 moment. Peak E3. Uh, I have not felt a genuine joy and a sense of happiness on an announcement like this since devil may cry 5 that that tells you something that tells you something how much i love this announcement uh moving on uh that shit was so powerful i even forgot that it was a fucking super super mario party uh game a mario party game um a new Mario Party game is coming out. Uh, and, you know, it's it's Mario Party. But one of the cool aspects is that there's going to be you're going to be able to do uh, 20 player um, competitive mode. And they said that's their biggest time they've ever done a Mario Party game like that. So I was like, oh, shit, that's fucking dope. Honestly. I wish I had paid attention more to it when I was watching it the first time, but man, it actually, that actually sounds really dope. Uh, this game ruins friendships though. So I don't know if you want to play it with 20 motherfuckers. Cause after that, you'll probably shoot you. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I don't know how to, how to 20 player shit is going to work because the online sucks, but you know, we'll see. Um, definitely a cool announcement though. Uh, comes out October the 7th, uh, 2024. Let's see. And so this next announcement was fucking awesome. Like, I really, as someone who's not as uh, a Zelda fan like that, this shit was awesome. All right. This shit was cool. So they announced uh, Legend of Zelda Echoes of the Kingdom. And so it's like kind of like your typical like Link's Awakening versions of the characters and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, man, this is fucking dope and shit. And then the game flips the script. They're like, no, you're not playing as Link. All right. You're playing as fucking Zelda. I was like, whoa. I was like, okay, this is a nice change of format. Because Link has always been the one to be playable. And, and the whole adventure is about him. It's cool that Zelda is finally... Her fucking name is on the fucking franchise. And she don't do shit. 
so it's cool to finally be able to play with her i can see that they took a lot of inspiration from um the, the 3d breath of the wild and whatnot games the breath of the wilds and tears of the kingdom games um with the whole uh wand mechanic which you can just mimic and copy items and stack them up and copy a uh, fight an enemy copy them and make them your army uh i was like wow that's really dope and yeah i i really i'm glad that they're taking inspiration from uh tears of the kingdom with their built mechanic i think that's just so dope so i'm on board this is going to be a, a day one cop for me this comes out september the 26th uh and also on september the 26th um, I'm just going to squish it into here. Um, there we got a, a Hyrule uh, Nintendo Switch Lite edition. I don't know why would you want to buy a Nintendo Switch Lite. Especially at near the end of this console generation. But fuck it. If you just want to have it as a collection. Sure. Go right ahead. There you go. Um. I wish it was kind of in your regular switch like not the light edition like the switch edition so it is what it is all right moving on wrapping this all up uh then we got dance uh just dance uh 2025 edition uh honestly these games are kind of fun i have i've actually played them with a few of my cousins uh and a few friends these games are actually kind of fun but yeah i wouldn't spend any money on this shit uh this shit comes out in october and it's also coming for ps5 ps4 uh and xbox series consoles um moving on i talked a lot about horizon um horizon lego or lego horizon adventures uh, again uh you know my friends are did a, try to convince me that uh, it's, it's it's pretty good that they're doing this, bro, because, you know, they can see the, the robots and, 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 and what the, 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 and they click the, the, click the robots and shit and, and, and the, 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 the robots. And I'm like, fuck that. I rather, I still rather God of War, but I do kind of agree with my friends. Like I could kind of understand why they chose Horizon now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, listening to them talk about it made me kind of like I can see why they went with that, but I don't know. Horizon, Horizon. I like Horizon, but Horizon. Give me God of War, all right. Give me God of War in fucking Lego, all right. I'll be like, like boy, come. We must build this Lego box. Come. We must do this, boy, 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 boy. Get hitting him with the axe. Until he busts out into fucking um, Lego pieces. I don't know. Mm. That's just me. Uh, again, it comes out holiday 2024. So yeah. It is what it is. Uh, Shrey, the fucking uh, Nintendo edition of Shrey. This game came out uh, a few years ago. And it's now on the Switch. The game was fucking ugly. But again, Switch owners do not care about that. Me personally, I need my game to look a little better than this. It looks really bad, but whatever. Uh, it will be available holiday 2024, but the game is available on every other platform now. Uh, Tales of Shine... A Lord of the Rings game. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Honestly, if this shit ain't, did not say, did not say Lord of the Rings, I would have been completely lost what the fuck this was. Um, honestly, I don't really care about Lord of the Rings games unless it's like Shadow of Mordor. Like, that game was fucking dope, so I could care less about this, but for those who are excited for this, that's fucking dope. It comes out holiday 2024, and it's also coming to PC, PS5, and 4, um, Xbox Series consoles, and Xbox One of all consoles, too. So that's interesting. Um, 
you know, moving on. Ace Attorney Investigation Collection. Uh, I recently found out, thanks to the CatCon survey that they did, Ace Attorney fans don't fuck around, <laughs> all right? Ace Attorney is very popular, and I had no idea the Ace Attorney series was this popular, um, and I should have known this, but I did not. I underestimated them. They're very popular games, and this is just another collection to add to the list, um, which is fucking dope that they, these games are getting re-released or getting or being ported to um, the U.S. and whatnot. Uh, it comes out September the 6th and will be available PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So check that out. Capcom fucking killed it, all right? I just want to go on a little tangent a little bit. This is why I fucking love me some Capcom, all right? Capcom fucking was heat. They, they were dropping that heat. I will be purchasing this to add to the Ace Attorney collection that I already have. Uh, I probably will not be playing it, though. But yeah, like, fucking Capcom, man. I only have one critique of Capcom, and I will talk about it when we make that fucking video uh, on Marvel Collection. Moving on. A hundred, a hundred line, Last Defense Academy. This actually looks really dope really 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 dope like i know this is from the um Durampa team uh and i've never played any of the Durampa games um but i was actually very impressed by what they showed uh and it's kind of like a defense game uh but it's gonna have little stories and characters will die depending on your actions so it kind of gives me fire emblem vibes Overall, I'm really feeling it, and I'm definitely going to be down to play it. Uh, it comes out 2025, uh, and it will also be available for PC. No idea on consoles, but PC it will be available on. Romancing, Romancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven. Now, I really like the premise. Uh, from what I gathered is that you're going to be playing as a, a king and that, like each generation, you'll take up like what the fuck happened or rules of the other king and there's a turn-based strategy game. And I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Like whatever the other king did in that generation or that past, it will affect what the other king has to go through in their present time. I was like, oh, wow, that's that's dope. Um, I actually would definitely like to try this out. That's really a dope premise. Um, and yeah, I'm really dope. I could be also reading that long. So who knows? Uh, the game comes out October the 24th. So, looking forward to that. Last but not least. <laughs> Fucking Nintendo literally said, you know what? Here's another one. <laughs> Here's another E3 moment for you. Uh, remember that promise back in the day when we announced a particular game and then we had to scrap it and whatnot and give it to a new team and restart development. Well, yeah, it, it, it is looking like we're kind of coming. We, we it looking like it's coming together real, real great, real great, real good. <sighs> That's our pride for Honestly, my friend, who's a huge Metroid fan, shout outs to that homeboy. He knows all of Metroid. 
he's the one that got me into Metroid. His his energy, <laughs> like literally, matched the same energy I had for fucking the Marvel collection. <laughs> I wish I had, I wish they didn't do the Marvel collection announcement because this would have fucking blew my fucking mind away. I, I was, I had no energy left by the time I was blowing my energy out. The, when this announced, I just looked at the screen and was like, what the fuck? This is fucking awesome. I honestly words cannot describe how happy i am that metroid prime 4 is still on its way it's coming we know a release date it's coming out 2025 hallelujah praise the lord um and it made sense because they gave us the metroid prime 1 remaster and now it makes even more sense why they did what they did and I was like, oh my God, these fucking bastards. Sometimes you got to watch, again, when I do that Marvel video, you'll know. But like, sometimes you got to watch what these developers do to dictate what's going to come next. And seeing this shit, seeing how it looks, it looks really good. I thought it was going to look ugly or really bad on the Switch, but it looks really fucking good. And overall, I'm just very impressed by by the game it looks fantastic i don't know what the fuck is going on in the story but i don't know fuck about that i care about the gameplay it looks really good and honestly i'm there day one man i love i love metroid i think metroid is probably next to fire emblem and i think yeah next to fire emblem i think metroid would be my favorite uh nintendo property so I'm 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 lost for words. I'm still lost for words. I can't believe this this and Marvel is coming, bro. It's so fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, it's coming out 2025. Look forward to it. We did day one, baby. Buying five copies, baby. Five copies. Um, overall, here's what I'll say about this direct. I would say Nintendo had the best conference of this whole summer game fest slash fake e3 not e3 whole event and i gotta say i'm surprised that nintendo out of all companies would get my black ass to fucking cry over uh, some games you know they literally lived up to the e3 dream of like making it. dreams come through the simple fact that they had Marvel vs. Capcom Collection and Metro Prime 4 was good enough. But just even take those shits out of, out of it. The Mario Luigi game looks good. Fucking Dragon Quest 3 Remake Plus 1 and 2. Fucking... And then Legend of Zelda. Uh, another Mario Party that's doing 20 players. Bruh. Nintendo cooked, man. They was cooking up some good shit, baby. They were cooking real good. But again, when I think of E3, I think of Christmas for gaming and delivering on the promise, delivering on fan expectation. And I just think out of all of the conference I've seen, Nintendo did this the best and the brightest. I'm so proud of them. Once again, round of applause for Nintendo. They're fucking, they fucking did it, man. They, they're fucking amazing. With that being said, I'm going to end the video right here. If you're new to the channel, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know what was your favorite moment of the Nintendo Direct. And with all that being said, I'm going to get off of this. Please comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, guys, stay safe and have a good one. I'll see you on the next video.